We're back on Let's Have It Out. Well, let's hear from one of our viewer, viewers, Maribunye, on Facebook, who says, I couldn't care less about these things. At 28 years old, elections and lie-riddled manifestos are not going to add any sort of real value to my life and ambitions. I don't understand why the youth is so fixated on the lies these political parties peddle in the media, when we should be focusing on working towards building our futures instead. I guess we'd rather bark upon free land and legal drugs than put some actual work behind our goals. Thank you for that comment. Uh, Peter, what do you have to say? Look, I think, you know, the, 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 the government of the day, together with the DA, because they are leading there in the Western Cape and some municipalities, it, it is, they, are the, they are the ones who are a problem because they have, they have made the youth, youth to lose the sense and the, the, for them to find the importance of them to go out and vote because each and every year they come with the same manifesto and they don't deliver, right? You we have seen from... You can go back as far as 1994, the first election. Some of the points in the manifesto, they are still going to be raised in these current elections that we are going to. So those are the kind of the issues why youth in South Africa is starting to be aloof in this process of voting. But I think but what, what, the, what the, the Facebook post is also saying is that what outside of land is the EFFSC saying to young Look, people, right? Look, it's, it's, it's outside the land. Look, what, what we are saying, my brother, it's not all about the, the land, but... Of course, land is very much important. It tops all, all these things you are thinking of. For instance, let's give you an example with one of the minor and small businesses that are happening out there. You know how many phones, smartphones are here around Johannesburg and how many smartphones that needs to get repaired every day. For instance, the EFF government says we're going to take all women or 60% of young women in South Africa, we get them the factories, we, we skill them to fix phones, for instance, to fix phones so that they, remember, they're the ones who will own that particular factory to fix phones and stop this thing of going to the Pakistans, going to the Indians and going to all these people to fix our phone. Just a, as basic as that. You organize society, organize young people, the government fund that particular process. Mm. And with that being said, you will be decreasing mm. a, a, a lot of unemployment in this country. Sure, Peter. I want us to pick up this uh, after this caller. We have a caller on the line. We have Tepo from Pretoria. Hi, Tepo. What is your question or comment? Yeah, yeah. Look, man, I want to I wanna ask the EFF guy. Uh, hello? Yes. yes, Tepo, yes. we are with you. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm saying I want to I wanna ask the EFF guy. Uh, here he's talking about the redistribution, land redistribution, and he's going to give the people land. He's also going to set up factories. But we're not really talking about how, how the, where the funding will come from. The thing is, we already currently in the hospitals and getting no, no, they are sold no medications. If you go to Northwest, people, some of the patients live with, uh, they bath with cold water. There's no money for funding for anything, really. But now they're talking, we're going to take this land, give it to this one, uh, uh, set up these industries here, yeah, do this. And, but they're not taking, telling us where the money will come from for that. Because if you currently can't afford on, in different departments, different hospitals, the schooling system, there's, there's less funding there. Everything is less. I mean, there's no money for everything. Now you're taking land, you give it to another person, you say, here's the land, but this person needs a drag time, everything. Somebody must pay for that. If you set up a factory, you need the money to, to, you know, he needs to tell us how is this going to, to take place. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Tepo, for your, your, your question. I think what is also important that Tepo is raising here is where is the funding going to come from? We are currently in this country, we have high rates of, of inflation. We have petrol increases that are happening uh, across this country. We have young people who continue to be left out of the economy. Who We have you know, job summits that take place that don't even involve young people. So what is the EFF saying? How are they going to fund this proposal of Look, land? I, I think they is a lot of money in this country, my brother, a lot of money. Just for, 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 for an example, there's a, there's, a, there's a huge tax avoidance in this country. This big corporate, they're avoiding tax. And uh, if you look at the, some of the arguments that the EFF have made and submissions they've made in Parliament, in as far as the illicit financial flows is concerned, you will realize that South Africa is losing billions and billions of rent 
over greedy uh, white monopoly establishment. Uh, people who, who, just, who are just greedy, who do not want to share. There is a lot of money. And when you look at the policy position of the EFF and its ideological outlook, even as far as the nationalization of mines in co is concerned, you will understand very well on where are we going to get money to fund all these things. So man the money cannot come from anywhere without here. This country is blessed. It is having all resources needed mm. to, uh, to uplift it mm. and uh, equally so, put it where it should be. So, so on this point as well, um, we've seen in terms of our government, uh, youth policy only fails sometimes at the implementation. But more and above that, monitoring and evaluation is problematic for, for government, right? Where they are monitoring outputs instead of the outcomes and the impact on the ground. So we have these great policies, but are young people on the, on the street corner benefiting from these policies? Are young people actually receiving um, the benefit of what is being conceptualized in these boardrooms? So my question is, what is a policy that the EFF will implement for young people come 2019? Should it be elected into government that speaks to young people and the issues of young, uh, youth unemployment, that speaks to the issues of education, that speaks to the issues of young people in corporate world who continue to struggle because they are young in those spaces. So what is the offer? What is that policy? Well, it, it goes back to who seeks to benefit from this economic struggle that we are pursuing on. Majority of uh, the population of South Africa is young people and uh, all, all equally. They, see, they, they are equally going to benefit from the policies of the... What is the I policy, can, though? I can just... Which policy? Uh, just to start with, mm -hmm. with number one. Of course, the, the, the question of unemployment, and uh, we have vividly and clearly elaborated on how the employment is going to be created how? in South Africa. How will it be created? For instance, if you go to uh, Limpopo, uh, in, in one of those, Sukukune, there are a lot of mines there. Right, and but when you look at how the whole thing is structured, it, it is unable to, you know, attract and employ all those young people who are there. Why? It is because the the, the whole uh, establishment. Mm. Well, is, but what are you going to do, Peter? We need the poli uh -huh. what's the policy that the EFF is going to implement for young people in South Africa that will benefit them? What is it? Okay, look. When you speak about the policy, obviously we are going to go deeper into what we stand for. Right, we stand for the economic liberation of our people, and when we speak about young people, especially the graduates, right, we are saying graduates must get employment. They must get employment. How do of they? Of course, we all agree that they. Then must how do they? That's why people go to university. Of, of course. Yes. Then how do they? How do they get employment? How do they get you can't employment. get employment because you know in the current setup of South Africa. Of course, but what will what? you do? Okay. We are saying industrialize the economy of South Africa, make sure that there are enough industries, make sure that uh, there is enough, uh, uh, you know, infrastructure development. Right, Peter, we do have to close the, the show. I'm really the, sorry the, to... Infrastructure to, development, to, to catch you. you can see. You know, let me give you an but we, do, we do need that policy, but unfortunately we do have to, to close. The show is really short, but I really appreciate for joining us here. Uh, well, that's, that's it for tonight and tonight's edition of Let's Have It Out. Keep the conversation going on social media using the hashtag LHIO. I'm Luolom PT. Good night.